Okay, so I'm back up here in this, on this farm that I just got done. I just got done uh, making the hay on, and it is what I think it's August 10th. I have two months of growing left on this farm. So what I'm doing is I'm putting down a excuse me, just a blend of fertilizer. You can probably see in the back. It is a uh, blend of nitrogen, a little bit of phosphate, potash, and a little bit of sulfur. Um, yeah, so I'm putting that on here so that this stuff gets up and rolling. I'm not really putting much down, only 125 pounds to the acre, um, because there is still nitrogen left here from this spring. And uh, I just need to bump it up a little bit to keep her going and add that little bit of potash to the mix. You know, just to re potash phosphate, just to replace what I've taken off. Now, I know there's a lot of people that just think that I only put down potash, or potash, think stupid, uh, nitrogen, but I do not. I actually do a rotation, and it's a uh, five-year rotation, you know, I mean, I try to get every, every, uh, I try to get every acre with some potash over the course of five acres, and if you don't know why I do that, well, it's pretty simple. There's still enough available potash in the soil from years of corn and soybeans, probably that I could make hay on for about 10 years and not see any adverse effect. Now, I've taken soil tests over the years, and even though there's still plenty of available potash, I will put a little bit of potash down on the ground. Uh, growing hay takes almost no phosphate. It is very unnecessary for me to put phosphate down, but you know, to promote the, uh, yeah, to promote good root health and good plant health, it's okay to put a little bit down. You just don't want to build up a, an abundance of potash in the soil. So I've got the 7810 here, and this is the view for the day for me. Um, not really the day, but uh, I did not use my my spreader. I'm using an FS Growmark spreader because I'm not really doing a lot. I'm only going to do, I don't know, a couple 300 acres. And it just didn't seem to be, well, a couple 300 acres right now. So if I do 300 acres over the course of five years, eh, I'm going to have to do more than that. But anyways, it doesn't even matter. Um, yeah, it would take me 10 years to do what I'm doing, so I'm going to have to do a little more than that. But right now, for second cutting, I'm only going to do these uh, 300 acres of, of, uh, of ground. So it just wasn't worth it for me to go ahead and hook up to my spreader and do the little bit of work that needs to be done to it. I just pay that $20 a ton that they require for me to do um, just to rent the spreader. So anyways, I'm going to move on to the next field and there's a pile of hay right there with a tarp on it because we're supposed to get like inches and inches of rain and that just kind of keeps people from climbing up on it and the pile from falling over. So that's why I have a tarp on it. And you're probably wondering why I didn't mow that mulch there. I am not legally able to do that until after the 15th of this month, which is in five days. But I'm putting the fertilizer on this ground up here so that I can, uh, yeah, so that I can, uh, come on, Wesley, thank you. So I can make a nice second cut in October. So about the second week of October, I'll be back up here, and I will more than likely make about 300 more bales of, of mulch hay up here. Yes, mulch hay. I'm not making good hay unless, for some stupid reason, someone wants to actually pay me its actual value. Um, but I don't think so, so that's just the way it is. And somebody's calling me, so I'll get back to you later. 